guys, welcome back to my channel. We're starting off with moisturizer and I'm using Tatcha's water cream. And then we're going into the brows and I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate. And I'm using a Tarte brow brush for this, just going to use the spool to kind of brush them out. And then start at the base of the brow using short strokes, going into long strokes as I go towards the tail. And then I'm just filling in any sparse areas. Pretty simple. Going to gel them out, I guess, with the Anastasia brow gel. This is my favorite brow gel. I feel like it just stays really, really well. And I'm going to just carve them out with some Shape Tape by Tarte. This is in light neutral. I'm going to carve them out with an E15 by Sigma and just blend it out with my finger after I line them up. And I feel like shape tape just kind of does the job. It doesn't dry out my eye area and just kind of cleans everything up pretty easily. Now I'm going to use my P86 brush by Sigma again. And I'm going in with Painterly this time for our primer, of course. And we're using the Beauty Killer Palette by Jeffree Star. I've never used it before, so I was super excited to bring it out. I'm using the Makeup Forever 242 brush to blend out Courtney. This is going to be our transition color. I love the shade. You can literally just put this all over the eye and have a beautiful natural eye, which I dig, especially in a palette. So I'm blending that out and then taking an E38 and going in with Vanity, starting on the outer V area, slightly going into the middle of the crease and then bringing it all the way over but I really want to focus it on the outer V, kind of leaving that half inner lid pretty empty. So be super, super, uh, you know, light with this color because, you know, it's not too forgiving. It's almost like using a black. They are super pigmented, so you kind of just want to grab a little bit at a time. I was going back and forth with Vanity and that 242 brush to blend back and forth because... I just want to make sure everything's blended. Mm -hmm. Taking Tarte Shape Tape again in light neutral, I'm going to just carve out where I want the next shadow to be. And I like using Shape Tape in this instance, especially because this is a super smoky eye. And I feel like I want to keep a part of the eye clean. And this is what I do. So I'm using an E58 to do this just to kind of carve it out. And looking up actually helps to see where you have to cut it which is a good tip if you didn't know and i'm just blending that out and then i'm going to go in with china white with a lot of it i packed it really really a lot on this brush as you can see the fallout but i wanted it to be super super white and just super clean and pigmented and i mean i didn't have to work too hard with his eyeshadows because they're just insanely smooth but I wanted this to be really opaque. Now taking E36, I'm just going to kind of recreate that cut line because it kind of disappeared when I put the white on. And I'm going to take Black Rainbow and the E38 again and lightly tap on the outer V so we get that little smokiness. And I love Black Rainbow, even though it does have sparkles in it. I wonder if I did wet it, if the sparkles would show through, but I do love this black. It's super, super nice. Going in with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner to wing it out. And I love the contrast between this super, super black liner and that white shadow. It's pretty serious and I love it. So we're just gonna wing this out super quick. Do the other eye as well. Do you guys like when I show one eye or a little bit of both? I feel like a little bit of both is kind of good. Um, but you know, let me know in the comments below. I'm using Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, my favorite right now. Just going to bring those lashes to the gods. And then I'm using the Complexion Perfection Primer by Huda Beauty. I love this for the winter just because I feel like my skin is super moisturized. And for foundation, we're using the NARS Naturally Radiant Foundation with an F87. And I'm going to just blend this out. I like foundation brushes like this because it kind of just gets in every little corner. And I just love Sigma brushes for foundation. They're just awesome. Going in with Shape Tape in Light Neutral, just gonna highlight and conceal. 
To blend this out, I'm using the new Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge. Well, it's new to me, not new to you guys, but I used to be obsessed with their old one, and they changed it. Don't know why, but I am actually very much liking this one. So we're just going to blend it out the concealer. Um, I like the density, and that's like why I like these kind of sponges more than beauty blenders, because I feel like sometimes the beauty blender is a little too soft for me. I'm using the Tardis Pro Glow, and I'm taking that cream contour with the P89 and just kind of drawing it out, blending as I go, and just seeing what this looks like because I have not used the Tardis Pro Glow in a while. But I, I forgot how much I like gray undertones for contour and then put the bronzer over it because I feel like sometimes I do overload the bronzer a little bit. So I feel like I can get my contour in this way and then, you know, go crazy with bronzer if I really want to. But it's so true, I feel like the gray tones just make it look so much more natural. I'm blending out with that blender again, just to make sure everything's super airbrushed. And then I'm going to do my nose as well. This part makes me laugh, I don't know why, because I feel like when I do this, it tickles. But I'm just going to blend this out with my fingers and go in with the blender again, just to make sure it's all nice and blended. For setting powder, I'm obviously using the Kat Von D translucent powder because I just love it so much. It's super thin and it just makes everything super seamless. I'm going underneath where I contoured as well just to kind of sharpen things up. And then I'm going in with that bottom right color with the contour brush from Sigma. I'm just kind of blending this out, deepening the contour a little bit, kind of setting it in a way but just lightly deepening it. Just kind of give the face a little bit more dimension going on the forehead underneath the lip to make that pout look bigger. Then for bronzer, I'm using a Pinema Sun by Becca and I'm using an F23 Bing Bang. That is super bronzy. And then we will blend that out, don't worry. We are not going to walk around with two big lines on our face. Gonna blend out with the smoothie brush by Tarte. And then I'm taking Courtney and Black Rainbow with an M507 and going underneath the lash line and just smoking that out slightly. I didn't want to go too dark or too crazy, so I just did a little halfway. For lashes, we're using Gigi by Lashes and Gianna with Huda Beauty's Lash Glue. I'm using these Sigma tweezers. I don't know if they sell them because I've been looking for them and I have not seen them. But these are my favorite tweezers. I'm going to try to find them and link them below for you guys because I just love them for the brows and for the lashes. For lash application. They are great. Putting on some lower mascara. It's the same Velvet Noir. Going in with an F37 just wiping away any excess setting powder. And just blending everything all over again. Mm-hmm. For blush, we are using Melba, which has not been on my face in a long time. I'm going to use these set of highlighters from the Tardis Pro Glow, and I'm using an M501 brush by Sigma. I forgot how beautiful these highlighters are. I have to, like, you know, fall in love with products all over again, which is fine with me. But this is just super beautiful. So seamless, I have to say, too. It's, like, really, really smooth going on. Actually reminds me of the Becca formula using Princess and an E30. Going in the inner corner, I just love the little touch of pink purple that I added to this. Very, very pretty, but I need to do some super electric looks with this palette. What do you guys think? Comment below. Using Dope Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Salty. I'm gonna put this all over, obviously. I didn't use a liner. You don't really have to with this um, formula can if you want to, but I feel like I really didn't need to. It's a pretty pink color. Reminds me of like baby pink cotton candy. Setting with the Rose Fix Plus, and that is it you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial with me today. If you have, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. Okay, bye guys. Love you.
在。